Lesson 7-4, solving inequalities by adding or subtracting. There's no difference in solving inequalities as there is solving a regular equation. As you'll see from the first example here, p plus 7 is less than 9. We solve by, again, subtracting 7 from both sides. Because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the 7s on the left? They cancel each other out. p is less than 2. And that's the answer. That's how you solve inequalities with adding or subtracting. However, since we're this far in the year, we are going to move into more advanced math. You'll notice in the second example here, f plus negative 4 is greater than 1.4. I'm throwing negative signs, positives and negatives, and decimals and fractions right at you from the beginning because you're ready for it. So actually, I'm going to know something about this problem and rewrite it as f minus 4 because we can turn the addition into subtraction and change the sign of the second number. Okay? And we have f minus 4 is greater than or equal to 1.4. To get the f all alone, we add 4 to both sides of the e equal sign, or actually both sides of the inequality sign now, is what I was trying to say. Because you're such advanced math students, what happens to the force? They cancel each other out. And you get f not equal to. f is greater than or equal to 5.4. So that's how you solve basic inequalities with adding or subtracting. There is no difference in what you did earlier this year. You just have to remember to pay attention to the fact that there's a greater than, a less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, that that's there. The mistakes that I just made, those simple little words, um, when I wrote them as equal signs, that's what's going to cause the most trouble. Something very important that I need you to pay attention to in this lesson. You'll notice that we have 14 equals 14 is greater than or equal to 8 plus b. Normally, if this was a regular equals problem, you would simply take the problem and switch everything over to the other side. I don't want you to do it now because it's going to change your answer. If you're going to flip, switch the 14 and the negative 14 and the 8 plus b, you actually have to switch the symbol too. And we'll look at that later at the answer, how that works out. So we have negative 14 is greater than or equal to 8 plus b. We want to get the b all by itself, and since 8 is a positive number, we will subtract 8 from both sides. What happens to the two b's on the right hand of the inequality sign? They do. They cancel each other out. So I have b, and then I have my greater than or equal to, and negative 14 and negative 8. Again, with integers, we've done these. Again, negative 22 is greater than or equal to b. So negative 22 is greater than or equal to b. It's the same thing as b being less than or equal to negative 22. To make this a little bit easier to think about, if I have 3 is greater than m, is it also true that m is less than 3? If 3 is bigger than m, 3 is greater than m, then m must be less than 3. So that's one way to key in and know what you're doing and being able to switch things in your answer. So this is why I don't want you to switch the b's and the numbers and stuff on either side of the inequality sign. I want you to just leave them right there. And I'm satisfied at this point in time if all you want to do is get to this point having an answer and that's it. You do not have to switch it if you don't want to. It's not required. I won't look to do it. If you do it, I will correct it and grade you and let you know whether you made mistakes or whether you were correct. But you don't have to as long as you got the answer. That's fine for now. Next year, Mr. Jameson will show you and require you to make those changes. But for this year, no. So now we're actually going to add an extra component to it. You're actually going to do this for every problem tonight. It's called graph the solution which means we're going to solve the problem, and then we're going to put it on a number line. So here we have r minus 5 is less than or equal to 2. We're going to add 5 to both sides. What happens to the two 5s on the left-hand side of the inequality sign? Of course, they cancel each other out. r is less than or equal to 7. So that's our answer. r is less than or equal to 7. At this point, you're going to graph the solution. Set up a number line, put five dashes on it, and then we're going to put the numbers on with the number seven in the middle. 
just like that. Since r is less than or equal to 7, we're going to put the circle on 7. And if r is less than 7, we know that all the numbers below 7 satisfy our inequality. So we make our big fat line, color it in, like so. Now we decide, does the circle get filled in or does it stay empty the way it is? It's less than or equal to. Since we have that equal to, we fill in the circle. And that's that. That's essentially what you need to do today in class. Your homework is page 348, 14 to 44, the evens.